but I don't bump. Nope. Yep. Which means this video should be right up all you diesel loving deplorables alleyway. And of course we've got to say it if you guys do enjoy any part of this video and only if you do enjoy part of this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to support the channel. differences in between running a tractor like this and a newer tractor 
Uh, there's a lot of them, and I've stated earlier in previous videos that I think people should learn to operate tractors like this before they jump into newer tractors, uh, because you have to feel how this tractor is running to operate it efficiently. I could say there's no auto steer, but we actually have an on-track system in this tractor, so it does have auto steer. It's got a mechanical clutch instead of an electronic clutch, so you got to actually feather that in and out. We've got ranges to select from, you know, we got A and B, and that's not like 100% like grade school wise, uh, that's more like training class, uh, intermediate, and uh, we got full send all the way up there on D, and then you got one, two, three, four, yada, yada, yada. Uh, there's a throttle there, you can tell in this one, there's this, this area, it don't do nothing. She don't need none of that, she's just got up and above. Uh, you actually have levers there instead of fingery did, 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 did deals. One of the disadvantages, uh, this is a spring ride seat. You, yeah, spring ride seats make great tenderizers. The noise level in these cabs is significantly higher, uh, which that's part of goes back to the whole learning to operate a tractor. You actually have to listen to what the engine's telling you versus yeah, it, if you've ever operated an old tractor or an older tractor, you know what I'm talking about. The lighting packages usually suck, that's why this one's got extra lights dangling all over it. Which tends to be extremely hard on the alternator. They are uh, rarely ever airtight, like there's cold air coming through there. That goes straight down to wherever it goes straight down to. Uh, you got duct tape here as a nice sealant and accent trim. Sometimes the air conditioners work great in them, sometimes they don't. And then this one, the air conditioner does not work great. It will cook you out of here. Most of them have three points on them. At some point in time, they decided, hey, let's stop putting three points on four wheel drive tractors. Why they did that, I have no clue. Or probably just so they could charge you a bunch of money for a three point, that's probably a clue. So say you're driving along, you wanna give her the old tap in the behind. That'll get her going a little bit quicker. Or say she really starts to bark at you about what she's pulling, you can give her the little juice. That's amp power right there. For the most part, they're put together where the engineers actually used your head and you can work on them versus whatever they do now. And when you talk about this tractor specifically, it's pretty impressive what it will do. It's low end power is, uh, I, I don't think they do it anymore like that. That's this Cummins. Right there's an Amish garden and they've got a cereal rye cover crop, turnillage radishes over there. That's kind of interesting putting cover crops on the garden. That seal around there is starting to leak. But this shield here, it's done itself in. It's uh, time to cut it off. Dad says it's vibrating real bad. He's got rye planted in there and he's got turnips over there. gotten bigger since the last time you rode in these birds nests so it's a new day last night harvested a little bit late uh, it was just me actually well I guess Molly did show up but working crew it was just me Molly came and picked me up and brought me pizza for dinner I ended up picking two truckloads last night and then my GoPro died so that's where you guys got left off 
so far this morning, we've got two trucks out of here, working on the third one. Andrew's bringing the high beat truck here. This one will most likely be loaded by the time he gets here. My guess he's going to cargo with it. Uh, we've only got now like 4,000 bushels left in the storage left, and uh, we've got 140 acres to go. Not gonna work out too good. Up, he's full, we gotta go, he's full. Thing, bud you having fun in the old tractor huh hey we'll get in the combine for a little bit you need a blue healer well it looks like we caught uh the semi trucks that are hauling to eddieville so i'm gonna take this truck take it to the bin bandit's gonna ride in the combine for a trip then we'll be back in the cart to get fixed uh, I did take the Midland out of it and I just figured we'd use the one of these handhelds here to communicate with the short period of time that we'd be using it these are working pretty darn good they're not as easy to hear as one of those external speakers on the radio when you mount them into the tractors however the testimonial of how important or nice it is to have communications in between the combine and the grain car tractor I forgot my radio in Molly's car the last night after she picked me up and then Andrew forgot to bring the one that he's usually carrying around with him this morning and uh, so I didn't have a radio all morning long and tell you what I missed it and I'm glad that we got them back.